नमस्ते एवरीबॉडी वी आर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज वन इन एक्सरसाइज वन वी आर ट्राइंग टू ऑब्जर्व द सेल्फ सो द सेल्फ इज ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ द कॉन्शसनेस इज ऑब्जर्विंग द कॉन्शसनेस एंड इन दैट प्रोसेस एट स्टेप वन वी ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व आवर इमेजिनेशन एंड इन पर्टिकुलर वी ट्राई टू लुक एट द फीलिंग पार्ट बिकॉज वी फाउंड दैट द फीलिंग ड्राइव द थॉट्स एंड द थॉट्स ड्राइव द एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड दे ultimately decide our behavior work and participation so the feeling is there at the core which is deciding the imagination and that's how we started paying attention to the feeling part without evaluating without reacting just observing as a pure observer in step 1 in step 2 we started evaluating we started finding out whether the feeling that i have at this moment in me is naturally acceptable to me or not isn't it in step 3 we try to see whether i am comfortable with my own feeling or not so in step 1 we did not evaluate we did not react we just try to observe in step 2 and 3 we are evaluating of course not reacting we are trying to evaluate and then in step 4 what we are saying is that try to find out who is deciding the feeling is it me or the situation outside or some other person who is deciding the feeling and with some discussion some observation we are able to see that it is ultimately the who is deciding the feeling exercise 1 the self is observing the self the consciousness is observing the consciousness and in step 1 we try to observe the imagination and we saw that it is basically the feeling which is at the base which decides my thoughts and the thoughts decide my expectation and then further behavior and work and participation so we started paying attention to the feeling part in the imagination in step 1 without evaluating without reacting without trying to change it just observing it as a pure observer in step 2 we started evaluating and we try to see whether the feeling that i have this moment in me is acceptable to me naturally or not in step 3 we started observing whether i am comfortable with my own feeling or not so this is something that we did till step 3 in step 4 we are asking who is deciding the feeling is it me or some person or the situation outside and with little observation we can conclude that it is me who decides the feeling so maybe we are able to do this one for all so as we go along observing the feeling will take time okay observing whether it is acceptable to be naturally or not and whether i'm comfortable or not will again be something which is an ongoing process but this particular thing that it is me who decides the feeling could be clear to us once for all but but again uh, for once forever you know but again try to observe this in a little open uh, manner whether every time i am deciding the feeling or sometimes even the situation outside or the person is deciding my feeling and uh, if you are able to see that it is me who decides the feeling then two important conclusions come from here one is that i am able to accept the responsibility of transforming myself i am able to see that it is me who is responsible for my unhappiness so i have to transform myself i have to work upon myself i have to develop myself so this is one important thing that we are able to conclude the second thing is that i stop blaming others for my unhappiness i get rid of complaints grudges about others for my state of unhappiness because now i am able to see that whatever may happen outside may be favorable or unfavorable but it is ultimately me who is deciding the feeling not the situation outside isn't it now you see that when we start observing the imagination many times we are carrying complaints within we are carrying grudges within hmm? i am able to get rid of such complaints and grudges in this manner i uh, it is for sure that uh, outside situations are not responsible for my happiness or unhappiness when i am observing it is only me but while observing my own 
feeling so then what is the component what it is observing in me is it the uh, i am in doubt now that uh, the which part of me is there that is me, me it it uh, may carry many other things like my feeling of my this the situation in which i am staying and all that so what is that part actually i want to know yeah. so one possibility is that the higher activities are observing the lower activities that is one possibility yes but yeah. the second possibility could be that if i am not able to observe my feeling and then i am looking at my thoughts and then after doing some analytical exercise in me i am able to conclude that this is the feeling then here it is not observation exactly but again we are able to be aware of the feeling by some analysis at the level of thought so this is another possibility so as i go on developing myself as the higher level activities go on getting developed so i am very comfortably able to observe the lower activities so one way of observing the feeling would be that i am observing from block b1 okay and whenever i observe from block b1 then i am also able to evaluate the very moment that yes it is accept it is acceptable to me naturally or not but when we try to be aware uh somehow or the other by some analysis by some comparison okay or by concluding from the taste that yes i am not comfortable it must be some ill feeling in me some uh, wrong feeling in me or some feeling which is not acceptable to me naturally that is another possibility so i may observe for myself that i am not at ease with me what has happened to me and then when i start uh, realizing then i am able to remember some incident that has happened yesterday which is keeping me restless so here the lower activities are also helping me to conclude about the feeling part so this is another possibility uh, it started uh, in me in myself is okay uh, it pricks for all the problems i am responsible for all the problems i am responsible okay i feel that one in uh, i am recalling all the past okay what have whatever happened in the past it started to pricks me like i am responsible i am responsible and it makes me little bit fear to speak uh, now okay with the uh, with whoever i am talking i uh, i need to think a little bit uh, to speak what i am speaking am i speaking properly or not i am handling the situation properly or not okay that uh, it start to pricks everything uh, i am having that feeling in each and every action there how to overcome this from this so i'm not responsible for the situation that way if you see because or not 100% responsible for the situation outside because uh, or the problem outside okay because uh, there are so many factors contributing to it but i am of course responsible for the state of unhappiness in me so one uh, wrong conclusion that could come at this step is that now i start owning the responsibility for everything which is not going the right way and that may make me depressed if something is happening otherwise in the family i am responsible if something is happening otherwise in the organization i am responsible in the society i am responsible this is not what we are saying we are saying that if i am unhappy within i am responsible for it but the situation outside the events that are taking place are an outcome of so many things which are contributing to it isn't it yeah okay. so one part could be that i was blaming others earlier yeah one possibility yeah. before i could be able to understand this and the flip side is that now i start blaming myself for everything that is happening otherwise with me which is happening which is in the wrong manner but this is also not the solution that i start blaming myself i don't have to blame myself here either i have to see and that will more clear in step 5 that the wrong decisions that i took i might have taken so many wrong decisions in my life or the participation that i did in the past 
they got wrong because uh, they were based on certain preconditionings and i was helpless there in the in the past so okay. since i was helpless i did like that so i become more committed now to work on myself so that i become responsible so that i have the right understanding so that the things are not repeated so one possibility that i am blaming others for everything which is happening in the wrong manner the second possibility is that now i start blaming myself but ultimately the blaming will make me unhappy again and the blaming is not a solution at all okay. so i'll own the responsibility for every situation in which i participated in the wrong manner okay but i will not feel depressed out of it so okay. we are not saying that i am responsible for the situation completely 100% i am participating in the situation that is one thing okay but within me the state of imagination if i see i am 100% responsible so we have to make out the difference here for example i started for my college okay and i got late by 5 minutes yeah. that may have multiple reasons and on that very day only there was a traffic jam and when i reached college i was half an hour late okay. so my participation was that i started late by 5 minutes but even if i started at the right time since there was traffic jam okay so it is a possibility that i would have been late and i can again say that the traffic jam started at this time so if i had started a little bit early then i would have skipped it and these kinds of thoughts may be there but ultimately if the traffic jam is there i may get embroiled i may get caught up in that that is quite possible isn't it so yes. then i will start seeing that how you know, proactively i can avoid this kind of situation fine but if i if i'm getting late also maybe so many things are contributing to that so what we are saying at step 4 is that i am 100% responsible for my unhappiness or happiness okay. we are not saying that i am 100% responsible for everything which is happening even outside okay this is not what we are saying okay okay yeah. then i don't blame myself also now okay. even here when i am responsible 100% for my unhappiness i am not to blame okay just blame i'll say because i am uh precondition in multiple ways okay i did not explore the okay. harmony at different levels of living i was not given inputs like that in my education system or my from my parents i started assuming things without knowing and that's how i am caught up now it is my responsibility to come out of this situation so i have to work upon myself i will see that whatever happened if it was not the right way so what was the preconditioning in me which okay. motivated me to go the wrong way okay okay bhaiya yeah. because okay. maybe the situation okay. is over okay? okay okay whatever happened in that situation the reaction okay. that came they are all over but my preconditioning okay. is meant, is sustaining in me okay bhaiya yeah. so okay i may again go the wrong way okay you know? uh, and you see that many times okay. you are not able to work on the preconditioning and that's okay. why we keep on okay. doing mistakes and feeling sorry for that okay. but the preconditionings are continuing in step 5 while doing self evaluation we are trying to look into the basis of the decision so we are able to see in step 4 that it is i the self who is deciding the feeling that i have at this moment now i'm trying to find out the basis on which i decide my feeling my thought so what is the basis on which i decide my feeling my thought is it right understanding or some assumption in the absence of right understanding so when i decide my feeling thought on the basis of right understanding i am able to decide in favor of a feeling that is acceptable to me naturally which is natural and then i remain comfortable in harmony in a state of happiness within but when i decide my feeling my thought on the basis of assumptions the preconditionings it is not definite which feeling i decide for a feeling which is acceptable to me naturally or otherwise and then my state is indefinite i am uncomfortable within okay sometimes i am comfortable within sometimes 
sometimes in harmony sometimes in contradiction sometimes in a state of happiness sometimes in a state of unhappiness so this kind of fluctuation is there in my life so from this i can see that there is a need for right understanding and the need for deciding my feeling thought on the basis of right understanding okay independent of whether everything outside is fine or not fine so in step 4 we are able to see that yes i have to work upon myself but in step 5 we are saying that observe the basis on the you know the basis which is deciding my feeling is it right understanding or some assumption so we become more particular here that transforming myself would mean that i have to work for right understanding i have to work for right feeling this is what i am able to conclude by you know evaluating myself at this step 5 so we observe the decision maker study okay we did a 10 minute exercise yesterday today we'll again do that exercise a 10 minute exercise observing the self and then we'll go from step 1 straight away up to step 4 and then we'll also go to step 5 and then try to see the basis so first of all i'll observe the feeling if that is taking time then i'll spend enough time for that for the time able to make out the feeling i'll also try to see whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not whether i'm comfortable with the feeling or not and then the tell i'm setting my feeling i like to look into the basis of that thing okay and here again with a latent sense of may not be very clear but then with the help of natural acceptance i can know that this is something which appears to be right understanding but this of course is not the right understanding because it is not acceptable to me naturally and then as we go along we will explore the right understanding part also is there is any range for opposition or happiness like i am less opposed more opposed i am less happy more happy is there any range for that bhaiya yes so the position could be on different scales okay. so one part would be that i am just getting irritated within mm. thinking about the other okay one scale the other could be that i am reacting the other could be that i am reacting with words the other could be i getting physically violent mm -hmm. so there will be you know various scales various levels of this disharmony in me now when i mm. say Have more happiness or less happiness so essentially mm. uh, if you see we generally assume happiness to be the lack of unhappiness mm hmm so more lack of unhappiness or less lack of unhappiness we term it as you know uh, less happiness or more happiness something like that this is one possibility mm or we can be happy sometimes and unhappy sometimes so when we count the duration we calculate the duration over which i remain happy so that would be another thing okay but when we understand the happiness as harmony then there is no intensity as attached with this there is no intensity mm. of harmony so the intensity applies when there is unhappiness or lack of unhappiness to some extent and we we'll see that unless we are resolved completely then in an uncomfortable state all the time unless i am able to see the submergence of nature and space which mm. may be a distant possibility for me i remain uncomfortable within me every moment because something or the other is not making me comfortable i am not clear about the particular reality okay so if i am not clear about the contemplation part not active at the level of understanding i have not been able to realize so some unhappiness would of course continue with that which is not clear to me so some fear mm -hmm. might be there some anxiety might be there okay. so those things could be there so there is no intensity of harmony so we have disharmony and mm -hmm. then we can have uh, less disharmony or more disharmony yeah that is quite possible uh when we start observing there also we we'll see that sometimes you are able to observe the feeling mm -hmm. but many times we start by observing that whether i am comfortable within or not and you are you know able to see that you are not comfortable within 
but you're not exactly clear what has been making you uncomfortable. So when we try to look in retrospect, then maybe you are able to make out some incident that happened in the past. Okay, yeah, there is study or day before or even, you know, some distant uh, act, uh, incident that took place in the past. So you are able to recollect it and then try to relate it also. For example, somebody put up a complaint against you yesterday mm. in the college. Okay, mm. and you got to know about it. Mm. You are not concerned much about it because the person is not related to you directly. But you see that it keeps on uh, harping you at the level of imagination or thought. Unless mm. I'm having the right understanding about that particular incident. So that keeps on harping. It keeps us uncomfortable. So when we sit for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, try to observe your feeling, that keeps on harping in you. Slow music playing inside you. <laughs> so it is all mm. the time harping you. So you can make it out also. Make it out and then try to see where your state, and you know, if it is unnatural, if it is uh, uh, not, uh, you're not happy with that. Why is that happening? Assignment for the English session would be that we have to observe the basis. Is it right understanding or some assumption? This is the exercise for today.